Welcome back, True Seeker. Wednesday, December 4th, 2024. And one of the big stories this morning is that United Healthcare's CEO has been gunned down in Manhattan at the 47 story Midtown Hilton Hotel while his company is 47 years old. And this is no slouch of a company. This is the number eight company in the Fortune 500. Of course, it's in the insurance industry, which is the biggest scam industry there is in America, especially when it comes to healthcare. That's why it's so large. So we're talking about a guy who oversees a lot of money, but gunned down while the company's 47 years old, again, at the 47-story Midtown Hilton Hotel, the same place that Donald Trump spent the night for his rig selection back in 2016, when both him and Hillary were hanging out in Hell's Kitchen. Again, if you're new here, I always talk about the number 47 because it's very special to Freemasonry. The Masons study the 47th problem of Euclid, and ultimately, this is a number of authority. Uh, again, Masonry is based in Kabbalah. Kabbalah has a practice of coding numbers into words, known as gematria. The words authority equate to 47. Same with government, same with White House, same with president, same with Republican, same with Democrat, and the list goes on. Very special number. We just got talk, done talking about this with the other thing buzzing in the headlines, that the House race is finished and it's all set for the new house that will take office with trump and of course it came down to a man who was 47 years old whose name equals 47 in gematria just like donald trump but notice here's the other piece about this this man who's been gunned down there's not i couldn't find a whole lot of actual information about brian thompson on the internet but here's what does matter he became the ceo in the fourth month of 2021 and now he's gunned down on the 4th of december remember to the occult the number four represents death four represents death this belief comes from the far east where four is pronounced the same as death but there's a pattern with shootings on wednesdays and here we are this man shot dead on a wednesday on the 4th of december he became the ceo in april of 2021 that means he was shot dead 44 months later. 44 months. Again, if you're new here, in gematria, the practice of coding numbers into words, shooting equates to 44. This number is notorious in shootings, assassinations. Uh, Malcolm X, who got smoked in New York, got shot on a date with 44 numerology. His assassin got 44 years in prison. His assassin's name Thomas Hagen even equates to 44-like shooting. It's kind of like MLK shot on 4-4. It's kind of like JFK, who was the 44th term U.S. president. And so many more. There are so many 44 shootings in history. But here's another one. 44 months after becoming the CEO, Brian is shot dead. And if you're new here, there's four base ciphers of the English language. The alphabetic order, the reverse alphabetic order, and both orders with numerology applied. You can see how shooting and Wednesday both equate to 44 and 37 with the alphabetic order with numerology applied and the reverse alphabetic order with numerology applied. You can also see that his name Brian equates to 44 with just the alphabetic order. No numerology, just taking A is 1, B is 2, C is 3, D is 4, up to Z, the 26th letter. Brian also equates to 37 in the same cipher as shooting. But the same patterns over and over on Wednesdays. So many school shootings, hospital shootings, public place shootings that we documented over the years with the same numbers encoded. And again, essentially it's par for the course. If you're new here, the word kill also equates to 44 with the most simple cipher like Brian. Again, um, one of the most famous killings in history, that of Caesar in 44 B.C., the first president to ever die in office was William Henry Harrison, who died on 4-4. Again, so many examples of this. And a part of me is thinking this has to do with something with the guy who became the 44th U.S. president. And if you don't know who that is, it's actually Donald Trump. He was number 45, but he was the 44th person to be president because Grover Cleveland had the split term. And again, this is where Trump was on selection night back in 2016. So yeah, uh, again, uh, it's hard to 
do much more of an investigation beyond that because there's very little information online about Brian Thompson, this CEO. Um, I suppose you could investigate more into the company. I I'm sure there's something about that because this was going to be the investors meeting. But yes, you can see the company was founded in 1977, 47 years ago. The guy who just won the last house race last night, also born in 47, or excuse me, in 77. Just did a video on that as this news was breaking. But yes, the hotel he shot at 47 floors. We were covering this back in 2016. And, and oh yeah, Brian Thompson, his name equates to 187, the homicide code. Uh, another special number to the Masons and the Jesuits. Uh, it's funny, we just got done talking about this with the house race called for the 47 year old. Uh, they said he won by 187 votes. You follow these numbers, they all trace back to the Jesuits and Masonry. Uh, again, w watch the last video I just put up on how your vote doesn't matter. Again, it only matters who counts the votes. And I, I went into greater detail on the significance of 47 and 187 to the cabal. But here they are in the man who's gunned down. And possibly also coincidental or possibly not, United Healthcare has the gematria of 154 and 73 like ritual sacrifice. Also like Saturnalia, which is just days away. That begins on the Pope's birthday, December 17th. Um, pay attention to when they appoint their new CEO. <laughs> I, I, it's dawning on me that uh, this hotel where he got shot opened in 63, the year of the JFK assassination, the 44th term president. Coordinates for the hotel are also the 73rd meridian, just barely. But yeah, what is 47? We talk about it all the time. And we'll leave it there for now, true seeker. Until next time.